What's happening, Internet? Welcome back to another Linux Tidbits. So if you're not familiar, this is the show where I take interesting news items, either in the Linux world or sometimes in the Android world, that interest me, and I share them with all you in a very quick and concise format, and we look at one random Linux distro and one random Linux YouTuber, hopefully all under seven minutes. Let's do this. So first up on the news docket today, we have the Chinese smartphone manufacturer known as ZTE, or ZTE if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. They've dropped their first smartphone that is based on Firefox OS 1.3. Now it's hit eBay for about $100 and it's by no means a spec monster. It's got a 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor. It's got an 800 by 480 touchscreen, 512 megs of RAM, a three megapixel camera and four gigabytes of onboard storage. Now it's been dubbed the ZTE Open C, and of course it's very standards compliant when it comes to being open and free for developers to use and exploit for their own purposes. So it's exciting to see a device finally ship with Firefox OS on it, and I guess we'll have to wait and see as to whether this device becomes the new hobbyist favorite. And now as per tradition for this Linux Tidbits show, even though we've only had three of them, let's talk about some Linux gaming news. So the first and probably most exciting is that an Unreal Tournament game is being developed and it is going to be released for the Linux platform as well as the other usual platforms that it has been released on in the past. Now that is only part of the big news. The other part of this yet to be released Unreal Tournament is that it's going to be completely free. And by free I mean not just free to play, not just uh, free to download and use, I mean free as in open, open source. The development is either going to be hosted on GitHub or something close to, so the the developers of the game uh, have come out and said that they're going to be very open about the development of the game and obviously we're going to be able to see it on multiple platforms whenever they get around to making it. So obviously this game is going to be a modder's heaven and we'll just have to wait and see as to how awesome this game truly is. But in the meantime, we can get excited and speculate. Now there is another open source game that has recently had an update and that is Stunt Rally. Now Stunt Rally is a rally car racing game with emphasis on particular stunt elements such as crazy loops, crazy tracks and physics if that's a thing. So a lot of the car and physics simulations are by the V-Drift engine or by the V-Drift game, which is uh, kind of old and antiquated by now, but they keep updating it with updated cars, updated tracks, and more importantly, it has a wonderful editor that allows you to create your own fantastic tracks. So being based on both V-Drift and Ogre, it has some interesting potential and it's pretty fun. Moving on, another car racing game that is going to be receiving an update in the very near future is the more arcade-oriented Super Tux Kart. Now, Super Tux Kart has been one of those really fun go-to flagship open source Linux games that many of us have probably played before if we're into Linux. Well, the good news is that they've actually completely revamped the graphics engine of it, and so they're now they're gonna be able to put in a lot more cool effects and a lot more high quality environment renders. So how is this new graphics engine gonna actually affect average gameplay. Well, it all comes down to the visuals of it. It's going to have much more dynamic lighting, it's going to have improved effects like bokeh and depth of field, the vegetation is going to be a lot more dense, and all in all the graphics are just going to look way better. Now obviously this release hasn't come out yet, but we can be looking forward to it in the near future because the STK developers have assured us that the new graphical elements and the new artwork that are going into this game are pretty awesome, and as you can see from the demo reel, it's going to be a lot of fun when it drops. So the good old Mario Kart alternative is going to keep getting better in my opinion. So now let's discuss the random Linux distro of the day, and that will be AV Linux. Now AV Linux is a Linux distribution based on Debian that is targeted towards the multimedia user. So obviously it appeals to me just for professional sake. It's definitely geared towards the audio, video or graphics enthusiast and it comes with a lot of the apps and tweaks that you're going to need to inch every bit of performance out of your machine that you can to put towards your graphics, your design, your video or your audio work. It has a custom designed low latency 32-bit kernel and being based on Debian, it's gonna be incredibly stable. So if you are a multimedia enthusiast out there and you're looking for a distribution to get your work done, then this one is probably going to be the one to choose. There is Ubuntu Studio, which I will be looking at in the near future, but as a random Linux distribution goes, AV Linux is pretty solid. It's only updated once a year, but when it is, it's super stable, and it's got all the codecs and stuff that you could possibly want to get stuff done in the multimedia world. So Jack Germain has got a great write-up about the most recent version of AV Linux. I'll put a link down below so you can go and check that out. 
And now let's talk about the random Linux YouTuber of the day, and that is Jeff Turner Linux. Now this guy has a pretty amazing channel. He's got a lot of different videos on quite a range of different topics actually that would probably be helpful if you're looking for Linux videos on YouTube. Now, not only does he do the normal like Linux distribution reviews, he also does things like tutorials, how to tweak your system to get the most out of it, how to make those little changes to make your system more usable in an everyday setting, as well as things like Android app reviews and lots of other bits and bobs along the way. So definitely go and check him out and see what you think. As always, if you have other suggestions for random Linux YouTubers that you think deserve a shout out, then definitely let me know in the comments below along with any other random distributions that you come across. And if sometimes I do this show and we don't really have enough news topics, I might even throw an Android app pick in there just because why not? That'll be all from me this week, guys. I will see you all in the very near future with another distro review. We're gonna keep cranking our way through the Ubuntu family. In the meantime, take it easy. As always, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, and you can leave your comments down below. Like it if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you like this kind of content on a regular basis. And I will see you all again in the very near future. Until then, catch you later, guys.